Have you ever started a business and it failed? Well, you're not alone. Uganda is recognized as the most entrepreneurial country in the world. The same Uganda is challenged by high failure rate of business startups, with 75% of them failing within two to three years of establishment. The National Small Business Survey Report of 2015 highlights the leading causes as follows. 74% of small businesses have limitations on accessing finances and 73% cannot afford available traditional media platforms to market their businesses. And only one in five obtain guidance to improve business operations. And low-level application of appropriate technologies is another reason startups fail. Looking at this, Empower Youth in Technology, a yet, have positioned herself to deal with these challenges through capacity building, marketing, and financing. On financing, for example, today, banks and other microfinance institutions tend to hesitate to support enterprises owned by young people. These institutions require fixed collateral like land and charge high interest rates. Therefore, young people are encouraged to form their own savings and loans associations like the AIT Startups Financing Initiative that was commissioned on 5th March 2022 at Empower Youth in Technology. The initiative is aimed at mobilizing members to pool resources together through savings and purchase of shares and to also advance micro loans to members but also to carry out investments together as a team. Just like Director Tushabe Bronard, who is a team leader at Empower Youth in Technology, puts it. We are here to commission yet another saving group. There are very many groups out there we are now adding into the very many groups ours and simply because we want to achieve the aims here to mobilize you guys together the whole aim first of all might not only be money yes money is needed but also to bring you together mobilize you guys we pull resources eh, through these normal savings and shares as we are going to see what shares are about eh? so bring your savings together purchase shares then we all pull resources so that's the reason why we started this. Bring you guys together. The way you're here, there could be a lot of money, by the way, as we seated here. If we say this, pull out to get resources, we can finance one business. It is possible. Mm? So that's why we are here pulling you, mobilizing you to pull our resources. Then we advance micro loans. Mark the word micro loans. So we will not give you 50 million because we probably might not have the capacity. But at least let's do something small. I am, uh, 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 there is something Dr. Arthur did with his group. Uh, they supported someone to buy just a, 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 a motorcycle eh, to, to improve his business. Something small, but at least you have helped someone to, 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 to reduce on the transport costs. So that is what we mean. Pull resources together, let's advance these micro loans that can make you, uh, that can make you ready. Okay carry out investments together so moving forward you're going to find us buying someone's land moving forward you you wait when once we bring resources together so very soon we might buy someone's land or someone's property because we are together so looking at these aims that's why we are all gathered here to celebrate and commission the yet another saving group that will be a game changer and especially for the young people, I like the fact that it is for the young people, and the young people are really coming together. Not politics, of course. Okay. So, uh, why why are we advancing micro runs in the first place? So I moved around with Mr. Matovu in some banks, and what were they asking? You need a, you need a turnover of 10 million, turnover of 15 million. You need to be employing one or two people. You need to have this and this. So if someone does not prepare you, you cannot easily afford that. And they have real money there, which you can invest in your business. But if you are not at a certain stage, then they will not listen to you. But once we give you our micro loan, we train you, we build your capacity. We are simply saying, get ready for the bigger investment. That is what we are talking about. Otherwise, you are about to see the 2 million, the 1 million, the 3 million we have been giving you is not good enough to grow your business the way you want. But it is simply to prepare you for yet bigger investments. 
so that's the reason why we are advancing my coronas but we want to to get there so our members join by just paying application fee of ten thousand. just that and that is cater for a passbook that we give you real stationary costs but now we are introducing shares which you are about to see and we'll be requiring someone to join by buying just two shares and just each share is five thousand so which means you now pay twenty thousand ten application fee and ten thousand to, to enable you acquire two shares and those are your shares anyway so we are just saying save a minimum of ten thousand we don't want to burden you however that's minimum you can save a lot and i'm happy most of you have been saving a lot most of you have been saved, but just save a minimum of ten thousand. You know, saving we cannot we cannot put force on saving because just it's, it's your discipline. Eh? Because we don't know how much you earn. We are young people. We are not saying save one hundred or what, but just save ten thousand or more. Just put yourself a sense of discipline in you, because the saving can save you when you need it. But also. Your savings could help someone's business, which someone's business could employ your brother or your daughter or your son in the future. That is also what we are talking about. So, Akaka sent a quota queen that Keiho Katurete Ritwe, then we shall give it to someone who might grow a business that will benefit all of us. There are some young people here into, who are into green. You know what green is about. So, if we finance green, we are saving the future. So don't don't joke with that one ten thousand that you have there and you don't need it. You talk at here is we shall see how to use it. So let me talk about briefly about the shareholding. So when we started, it was about just saving, but we say let's give young people an opportunity to own. That's why now we are introducing shares. So we have introduced shares. Just one share is one uh, one share is equivalent to five thousand. So we want you to own this. The catch which is cheap. Many people, they normally say young people are time wasters. To the cut of a gambe, we don't waste time. Let's own a bank if possible. In the future, we can own. It. So one share is equivalent to five thousand. Just buy one. And the, what are we recommending as as this fund? We are saying at least try and buy forty-eight shares in a year. Forty-eight shares. If you if we go by calculation, it means you can be buying. Four shares per week. Four shares per week. That is now how much? Twenty thousand. Eh? Twenty thousand per week. So we no one share per week. Sorry, one share per week. So that is five thousand per week. Then per month, just buy shares of twenty thousand. Those are four shares you get per month. Try. Then that will translate to forty-eight shares in a year. Through that, we would raise a lot of money. With this initiative having only been initiated in 2021, it has so far seen saving depots of 26.5 million deposited and the number of members growing to 52 with loan portfolio of 8.7 million and 12 loan borrowers with over 1 million as profit. And by names of Matovu Mohud from Elsmart Conservation Technologies, uh, this is a company where we produce briquettes out of agricultural wastes. Uh, we produce fire starters out of uh, sawdust and uh, durable stoves out of scrap iron sheets. Uh, about it, uh, me as, as, as a company or as, 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 as a group of Elsmart Conservation Technologies, um, I save with it. In fact, now... I think I have a saving of around uh, around 500 uh, with it. I have my card is there in my in my bag there. Uh, but besides that, besides the saving, there are very many achievements I've gained. Uh, one in capacity building. We've been having different uh, capacity building sessions here, and uh, it has helped us to link us with different facilitators. Take a look on uh, Mr. Kabanza David has been here with us in business business uh, plan uh, uh, man, uh, business plan development uh, in business other business skills. Uh, take a look; he has, uh, he has connected us with uh, business guys. We were here with Baria. Eh? Now, but where would I, I just meet? wanted to give to give you thirty seconds 
and tell us the relationship you have with the fund specifically. Let's not go to anything else. It's unfortunate that you gave me the mic an hour. <laughs> I'm called Arnold. I own a business. I sell computers and repair. I've been operating since 2018. Uh, I started immediately after campus. I didn't go anywhere looking for a job. I just started. And now, five years down the road. So I've been working with AIT as my partners. They've been helping, helping me uh, market the business, even funding. So I've taken a loan from them, from the fund, two times. The first, I took two million. I paid in six months. I think I paid well, right? <laughs> so another time was January. I took another two million and I've been finished. I'm still paying, but I would like to inform you about the, the benefit of the loan. If you're young here and you have a business, uh, capital will always be a problem. You always need a loan. You always need capital. So for you to operate very well, you always look for other sources of getting the money. For example, I import, I import computers from Dubai, and whenever they reach Atentebe, I will always need tax to pay taxes. The taxes are always too much here in Uganda. So whenever I have that problem, I call these people to give me a loan. And they help me. So just know if you're operating here in Uganda, you always need capital. Try out our funds here to help you. Thank you very much. The, the, the recognition certificate we are giving you could boost you when you want more financing because... We don't have a financial card or financial record to give, but this could uh, uh, push you. So you will allow me to recognize these people, and the chief guest will hand over the certificates to them. It's a sign of appreciation if you could stand right there. And the person I am starting with, I don't know. Every time I want to award people is the person I <laughs> end up with. So it's a it startup financing initiative. Our logo is here and our uh, tagline is save to grow. Save your penny to grow. Uh, this certificate is probably represent, is proud represented too. We might want, yes, someone might want to use this space to come in front. It is presented to Kavuga Henry, the man himself. It's quite surprising, but he's the man. Uh, a man of all seasons, very young. But how much has he saved? Is it around 800, 900, 1 million there? But consistently, ever, ever, ever since he started, ever since he joined, he has been saving that money. Daily, weekly, monthly, very little money. And this money has accumulated to around, I don't have figures, but above 800,000. So you will shake hand with the big boss. No, he will give it to you, not me. So you can. So. Mm. that financial <coughs> uh, discipline and commitment and we see a big entrepreneur emerging in you congratulations yes. thank you so much mr kavuga henry consistency is what defines this young man very disciplined and hard working by the way mm. okay <laughs> then finally we are recognizing the best loan payer like i mentioned <coughs> Paying on time and very disciplined and using it with the intention we gave it. T t t t t uh, sorry, Chandi Mesh. Uh -huh. Now we are going to recognize Mr. Nuwajira Anord, who is being recognized as the best loan payer of the year 2021. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, Mr. Nwagaba Arnold, I congratulate you upon this attainment and uh, for being uh, a very good, uh, a person of integrity and honest and a proud entrepreneur that is emerging in Imbarara City. Congratulations. Yes, thank you so much. The photo people, I think, are doing it well. Mm. Yes, thank you so much. Like, like Lion Benon said, he did well at the first round and we called him back. So we have added him and he's still doing well.
estimating that by the end of next year we will have made a profit of 4.7 million. This doesn't mean that this is what we are going to make. These are just estimates. We can even make more. By raising a lot of money, we can choose to grow uh, Anord's business. If Anord needs 20 million and we have raised a lot of it, we can choose to support him. That's the best way we can raise money from us. That's why we are saying try buy shares because the safest way through which we can raise resources. So once you buy them, they will form part of security as you, you acquire a loan. Because for us, we will see the number of shares you have, we multiply by a certain figure, whether two, whether three, and we give you. You're only using your shares as what? As security because we don't have land. Honest, I don't have land in town. So I will not go to post bank or which bank to get a loan because I don't have. But for us, we are saying, let's use your shares. So once you have shares, you get a colleague, you, you raise a certain required number of shares, those number of shares can help you obtain a loan, which alone can help you grow your business. Eh? So they will be forming part of security. But above all, you will be entitled to dividends. There are ways members will gain from this initiative. Also, members will have an opportunity to acquire affordable loans. Now that the initiative is launched, it is time for you and me to join and grow with this as Ronald puts what lies ahead of this initiative? Then as our members, we don't want you to be saving. We are working out a plan to, to, to do continuous training and mentorship. Because once you take our money, you might get challenges, but maybe when we be training you, you will address these challenges. So that's why we will do continuous training and mentorship. Then of course, continuous linkage to other <coughs> established institutions like UDB, if they are willing to listen. Microfinance support center. If they want to listen. There are other organizations like UGFA. Just two days ago, they contacted me. They want other young people to apply. Those who are into green enterprises, they also give money. So for us, we'll be saying we have members who are saving records. They, their records are like this and this, so they qualify to get money. We'll be doing continuous linkages, linking you to Accord. They also have support. So that is now our responsibility as as a team continuous uh, link you and of course promoting your business on ATV <coughs> and stuff like that. Then there is the aspect of digitalization. Most of you are doing business but you don't keep records. In <coughs> that's why as you members we are finalizing with our app, the accountant app and the system which we want to give you. Use it to keep your records. In the future you're going to be using these records to access access loans. Because if your business is making money and we are seeing, we don't even need to ask anything. Present them, you get money. I was moving around with Matov in some banks to see how they operate. And all of them were asking, hey, where are your records? Now in my head I was like, for us we are lucky. Like at Eat we have our growth who keeps our records. Now this business we have started and those that don't have records, will you be, will you be able to get money in these banks? Chances are high or not, but we want to help you with that. Digitalize records, use records to get resources in the bank or anyway. Then <coughs> online visibility. We have developed an online portal for you guys to register your businesses. So that these businesses can be online. I think um, uh, <coughs> a man should be able to show us if we have time. Where you just put you register your business, create a profile online. Now for us, we are going to be using that, 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 that photo to, to, to sell your business, whoever needs it. If they ask us uh -huh, how many businesses in Mbarara are run by young people, we simply <coughs> put out a photo. But also, this increases your online business visibility, your visibility online. Hmm? That's why this photo is in place now. 
and uh, we want to use it to link you to mentors because we're going to be registering mentors on the portal funders out there on the portal investors on the portal then you as businesses you have an opportunity to interact with each other while online that's why this photo has been has been designed and would be happy to work with a code for instance to promote it hmm? so that it becomes an other port where young people can increase their visibility they normally say young people to work for you but for you no move for you our chief guest these these are serious young people and i know and i know a code is looking for serious young people i belong to lion club of umbarara i'm a lion and these are my colleagues and in lion we serve communities and when i know, i interact with lion benon i interact with lion bernard they, are, they always want to work with serious, serious young people and in lion if we continue seeing this we might end up putting something under Lion's Club that would also support such a cause. Still wondering why you should be part of this initiative? Listen to these financial experts that grace the launch of this initiative. We financially, it is a question of money. We have those who have and those who don't have. That's what we call cartoon money. Cartoon money, 200, 1,000, 10,000. You walk like a what? We walk like a king. Uh, what is financial literacy? Financial literacy basically looks at how money works in the world. Imagine how money works in the world. How someone earns money. How someone manages it. How someone invests it. And that's where you are. Have you, have you ever been... When you, you don't have any money in your pocket. At times you fear even to get out of your house. Then when you are renting and it is around 28th of the month, you know the landlord will be turning to you. Then you realize whether you manage your what? Your money well. So what do we see, especially among the youth and even among the Ugandans? We all have financial constraints. Arnold, I think, with the computers, he says the, the pot, his man, his business is in 60 million, but at times he comes here to, bo to borrow 2 million to clear the what? We all have financial what? constraints. Paying a debt back is very hard for most of us. I worked in a, in a bank. I also worked in a microfinance. Getting money is the best. Returning it is the worst. And uh, there's something, Ronald, you presented well. Uh, the, the issue of giving interest to savers. When they, they, you presented the other thing, you had money, there were very few borrowers. Where are you going to get interest when you start giving interest? You need to study it very well. You are giving interest to money which is not yet borrowed. I bring my money, I can bring 20 million, keep it here. At the end of the month, I'm expecting interest and no one has borrowed it you need to think about it properly with all the members uh, 80 percent of ugandan citizens when we get our money we pay it out we are hopeless like all civil servants i'm so i'm one of them because our hope is always a paycheck at the end of the month when i get it i spend it then i wait for the next month less than 10 percent of ugandans maintain any household budget including you and me when they ask you, what is your budget, you don't have it. Even in me at times, I don't know. But when you get the money, you can spend it even without budgeting because the needs are too much. Nearly 50% of us have nothing set aside to cover an expected emergency. You get out here, you are knocked by border border. They touch it. Even people first come to check what you have in the pocket. When you have nothing, they leave you there. When you have something, they grab and they can take Part of it, then they, they give you someone take you to the hospital. But they say, Ngogwa kafakari, when they touch the pocket and there is nothing, why should they waste time on you? So, where does our income come from, basically, most of you? It comes from your, those of you who are stu students, the rise you, you are telling your, your parents, you know. Your friends, you can get a grant and uh, it has been getting some grants. Then there is that run. I put it in red for what? Then some of you can go to work, you earn some money, but also think about how much you, you earn. I, when I sit on, the, on, on some panels and I'm interviewing people, I ask a graduate who has been paying two million, how much do you expect 
because of where you are living with your aunt in Katete, you want to run away, then you say, around 200,000, I look at a thief. Are you worth 200,000 after spending all that? That's what I see on the board. Then I realize this is the wrong person. He will be stealing toilet paper when we employ them. Do you know your value? Then some people sell property. And 30 years at campus, they advertising sale of computers. They sell even mattresses. And when they reach home, the mattress was stolen. Those are the stories. Your expenses, you know them. You know them. As the youth, I put textbooks. Who buys the textbook? These days, you no longer Google came in. Tuition, you no longer mind. Transportation, hobbies and entertainment, medical, then your gadgets. Some people have gadgets. You have a photo of 1.5 million, and your mother is still using a what? A weaker ramp. You need to think about it. Uh, I. I will talk about the last one, the money wasters. Small expenditures that, that do not realize actually any, any portion of You don't think that you are spending around. The, the other time I see someone moves, takes a border, border to go and put an item of 500, 500, 1,000 shillings. Oh, you have a car. Oh, a border, border, you are putting in 5,000 5, in what? That is a, even less than a little what? That is the money wasters, and you need to be careful about them. That is part of financial details. So, so when you manage your finances well, the, the, manage, the way you manage your finances will give positive and negative. I'll talk about some uh, po positives. They will assist you to reach your financial goals. Your life goals, they keep debt under control when you are you manage your finances. You take a loan, you know you have an obligation to pay at the end of the month. Don't ask for extension. When you ask for extension once, they will never give you when you have paid. It affects your relationships. Positive and negative. They are talking about people who have paid. I know there are some people who may not have paid and you can't talk about them. But also they may not be here because they think when they come here, you are going to... So when you have a debt, either when you have paid up, you are willing to talk or to appear. When you haven't paid up, you run away from your friends. And also it affects your career. Because some people will never trust you and they know. They start to, we talk about them. If he asks you for money, you'll never get it. Then when you see him, you already see problems. And you, even if he, has an he or she has an emergency, you'll never, you'll never entertain such. So, my friends as the youth, do not overspend. It is now time to manage your heart, your money. Even if you have cartoon money, have a plan for it. And how do you make a plan? Create a budget. It will help you reach your goals. Even if it is little money, think about it. 10,000 for some people it appears like a million. You start making a what? When you are some of these guys, the Sanka, when they were students, you, have, you buy, a, I know how students spend money. I have been in the university for the last almost 15 years. The, the students' money appears at the beginning of a semester and at the end when transport comes in. They buy bread, they even have a rocker, they take two slices, they count and see. Even when they come back and they open, they start counting to see whether someone could have eaten it. But you have the key. So that is managing your heart, your resources. So, Financial success begins with discipline and planning, and you can only do that through what? By budgeting. I, when you have the, that money, whether cartoon or serious money, at least you talked about recording transaction. Can you record your transaction? You may not record everything, but some major transactions. Then you can even more know your trends. Where do you usually spend? What are your cost centers? Carry small amounts of money. Don't carry a lot. Carry what is enough. That you need. When you have, you are there. There is always temptation. You know, when you have money, and it, they will even changes the way you walk. Here in the places where you visit. When you have money, some people can, you can see when someone has money. The way they walk, the way they talk, they talk like as if they have money. Then reduce your trips to the ATM. The, that, that card, don't think that banks are, 
the cost of each machine is over 40 million 400 million the cost of that box where you enter don't think banks are stupid there is a way they make money out of your heart the cards avoid the the different the visits i'm not going to that but i have told you reduce what so what do we do begin saving now and that's what a it is trying to a it what saving scheme is trying to do even short term and long term save for emergency the rule of the sum have at least 20 to 40 percent of your income saved for emergencies and they will always take place like when you you reach our age diabetes stands in i don't know all kinds of diseases some of you you get married to a man who has nothing or something you you got married to a man who had something all of a sudden covid comes in business is away if he did not save and he had not saved you know when you have money what happens when you don't have money what happens to relationships the quarrels come up that is so have savings in the bank and when i talk of the bank i'm not looking at these institutions can you, can the bank be the goods you have at home can you have guardians at home so that you what you produce to, to eat you can also have set. those could be your heart you are talking about buying land can you put money in the land because the one you put in a bank do you know why banks charge, charge us for say for keeping money there talk to people who, when i use this uh, katate don't be uh, kidding me why they charge you you don't know the value of money you don't have the use of it that's why you take it someone to keep it for you they have to charge you for keeping if if we are yeah, if we had them if we had the right brains don't put money of someone do you know how much they pay you for savings interest on saving and how much they charge you on when you take loans then you can know what the, the value of your money is. but some people are so happy 200 million lying i don't know what and and they are happy so go for the goal uh, say why do you save set your financial goals set the your spending plan including by the way set your st spending plan including having fun there are some people who work from day one to the end of the year they have never enjoyed themselves they are not happy they never go for holidays they lend money it is never paid up you need to have some fun there is a, a song of uh, this guy i am getting interest in him he's called the david Rutaro. the guy says enjoy your money because some people are going to enjoy it when they are burying you you need to get some money for fun set it aside in your heart in your in your plan why do we plan this, that, that is our age they say that no, i no longer qualify to, to join a eat and i think uh, benon you don't qualify because they say the up to 35 i don't <laughs> for me i'm 52 already so i don't qualify so uh, you see your age that you are in the age of running 20 to 30 is you are in the age of running and running how to manage money this morning i was listening to uh, tv west they said someone who uh, the one who is jealous when you have a, ch a child who is jealous you know that by the time he hits 30 the person will be a witch and yeah when you are young so if you can't save money now even the retro the cartoon money don't think that when you grow up you are going to save saving it is a culture you must grow with anyway you can be educated you can be mentored and that's what we are trying to do try to save now even the retro otherwise you will still beg and beg even if you work some of us have worked and at times you ask yourself what have i earned in the last five years nothing no value added that is running when you reach where you are i'm happy that you have started sir you are you are now start, you have started earning that's why you are thinking about investment saving and whatnot you reach a certain year when you start spending in the old age you start spending your own money at the young age they were spending on you in your own age and if you have not planned don't think that some of you graduated you can no longer go and tell a right to your father that you are going for a trip he can't believe you <laughs> you have to pay for your for your own trip so this is our income uh, age graph at this level 
you are still dependent on your father you even terrorize you know i was getting surprised i was the the dean of the business school and uh, for eight years and i would get uh, parents calling from urkunji is it true that uh, my my daughter even the girls are now getting worse she has been selected by the university to go to nairobi you look at you look at you know those funny right you are still a dependent you can tell rise but and you find even even these days that you look after some some, some uh, slightly young adults when you find a, a boy of your age a man of your age 20 22 years that's when you're at campus you are still putting on your budget socks and underpants you get you look at it I, 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 I look at them and I say, you can't buy yourself an underpant. And you also have a girlfriend, someone's daughter you want to marry immediately. You look at it. And when, you are, when your boyfriend is still requesting for underpants and what not, you know that you have a problem in the future. Mm. So, the dependent age, that is from 25 where you, most of you are, you start the age of accumulation and saving the money. You reach where I am, Going to retirement, if you did not save, you will die so quickly. Yes, you die quickly if you didn't save. You know, you can no longer eat properly, you can't get proper medical care, you can no longer, you no longer have a network where you enjoy. If you are working like a lecturer and you are taking beer, you go to the village, you have retired, you go to Tonto, you are not used to Tonto or Waraji, you simply die. So, think about. You become a dependent again. You are depending on who? O on your son who is also basically like that. The cartoon money. They, they will not come. So, I will not go into all this. I, I leave them with. Then, I have some me nice messages for about money. You know money talks. That is it. I have already talked about that. Don't spend money you don't have. That is uh, one message. The money may not always make you happy. But surely it can help you sometimes. You know, when you have money, you talk. You can ask. You can demand. When you go to a hotel and you have money, you take a girlfriend to a hotel and you have like 50 she asks for something of 30, you realize that you are going to be embarrassed. You get it? At times you excuse yourself and leave her there. <laughs> if you had, if I asked some of you, if you had one million, because at times, you ask Arthur to give you money that you have a project. They ask you, how much do you need? You know, you come to me, you are asking, you have a problem. You ask how much you need. I ask you how much do you need. You say, let me think through. Have your things on your heart, on your fingertips. Know what you want so that when you are approaching a company, when you are approaching an organization, you know what you want and that's, that becomes the first thing. And... Uh, it is not easy to manage your money. It takes time. It takes organization. It takes sound judgment. And at times we do without it. It is hard to manage money. Spending it is very easy. Earning it is hard. But also having it. Like they give, you a, they give me one million. Within the next 15 minutes it will be gone. And at times you can't even know where. I, if you go to do a reflection in the evening, they, you can you say, wh what happened to my money? But also, you look at how much you spend on, at times you say, am I a thief? Because you spend more than what you earn. So, the future is shaped by you now. What kind of things you, you, you want, and what kind of things you, 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 you need, will determine what you are going to be in the future in terms of what? Money is. So, smart spending saves shillings. Buy discounted items if you know them, where they are. Enjoy low cost entertainment. Like the Katogo, there is this uh, hotel uh, on Northern Bypass, Pinaco. The Katogo is 20,000. They are four what? Four fingers. 20,000. In another place, you find it at 3,000. In another place, you, you find it at even 2,000. Those of you who eat near the bus park, Chigonja, they have the best katogo. And the hotel is moving on the what? On the, the person carries a, a sigiri, puts on food. The person moves with the hotel with the best food. But you say, ah, 
Let me also go and show myself and go to Pinnacle. You'll spend what you would have spent in a month. Buy used things. Some used things are still very useful. Avoid spending out of impulse. Prepare. If you have little money, you can't spend out of impulse. What? So, then about credit, that is my final thing. You need to build a good credit uh, uh, culture. Better, when, you, when you always pay people, you get uh, better job opportunities and referrals. I always tell my students, if you have been eating people, students' money, the as students' association, even when there is a job in my area, I can't tell you that there is a job because I know you are going to be a thief. If you store a little man of a student's association, can we trust you with the money? No one will trust you. Then you have more investment choices. The bank will always look for you as long as you pay them well. If, when you have put your around the title, they don't want even to release it because they think that you are going to run away from them. Then they st you can even negotiate on your heart on the interest rate you pay, depending on the way that you are. They have, they, basically, they grade, they grade as the borrowers. Then you have open eligibility for other loans. People are looking for you. Can we give you, you pay, you pay in a bank, then they stay. Can we give you, or when they realize you are about to finish, can we top up? Who told you that I'm, I need money? But they see the value you have. Then access to banking services and faster loan decision. There are some banks where you travel, when they see you, they also call you that the manager is calling you behind so that you talk business and they serve you from behind when people are lining up because of what you are worth. But when you don't work, even if you go dressed well, you, how, how your account is in the bank and how you have behaved with them will determine whether you will be what? You will get any other money. So, final thoughts. Taking control of your finances instills empowerment and prepares you for a physically sound future. And it is, you start now. The last final thought. The best things in life are free. Free hugs, free smiles, free friends, family, kisses, sleep, good memories, laughter, and love. Those are the best things in life. But the others, you have to work for them seriously. If it is, if it is to be, it is up to me. Once we create a circle, we need to make it stronger. The first point in making it strong is the common bond. Once the common bond is well thought out, it will always bail you out. It will always help energize you to move forward. Because you must be kind and friendly to one another, the virtue of the common bond, it's like a faith. You are working together, you are to pray in understanding what you are, what, what you are doing. Uh, you need good bylaws. The Minister of Cooperative has given standard bylaws, but you are free. There is flexibility. Fine tune these bylaws, suit your needs. So you make such good bylaws that make your circle stronger. We need good leadership. Good leadership is critical in growing a strong circle. Uh, a leadership that has vision. A leadership that is knowledgeable, that can read, as I first hinted on, that is capable of building networks, that is capable of observing law, that is capable of sacrificing for the organization in terms of time and even personal resources. Because initially, things are not good for starting circles. Uh, we need quality membership. You yourselves, the members, while you are in a common bond, it's not good enough. You need to do more. You need to have a of purpose, first of all. To know the purpose for which you have created or, or come together in this circle. Uh, you need to attend meetings like this. Because the decisions, important decisions will be taken in these meetings. And therefore, you know, if you can't contribute, at least your hand is very important. Your vote is very important in determining the next course of action. So you need to attend these meetings. You need to be people as members of positive virtues and value systems. You can't take the loan of your association and fault it, and therefore the circle goes strong. It can't go strong. You need to contribute by all shares and shareholding so that you build it. Because if you don't, th th there is no way. 
it will it, you you have to rely on other capital initially and it will derail you it will make you broke uh records and good internal management you need the staff or those managers that are managing from within who don't have tricks you can have a built reputation or being very untrustworthy okay and again these circles have an arm called the supervisory body which should also be quite good to touch and look inside uh, the organization internal affairs and therefore be sure that your money is safe the caliber of staff is critically very 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 important uh good risk assessment good risk assessment does not been mean being risk averse does not mean in business you can't avoid risk unfortunately but it needs a good assessment you assess it well and be sure that the person we are giving loans we are not very very stringent but we have a kind of good assessment uh, sketch or, or, or roadmap in which we look that we say that our client by virtue of who he is what he's doing can repay this and you do it in good faith and the, you know all other things being equal you are sure that this person will bring back uh, the money of course there are other forms of risks huh? transporting your money you know hacking into your systems you need to evaluate all those very well uh, publicity i'm happy it is doing this for you uh, the more the more the more the more visible you are the more people can join you and the more you can be trusted i am really upbeat about you we shall continue to be available for consultation we there is no way sky is the limit for you guys you have the energy you have the knowledge you have the networks you have years on your side there is no way you can fail please be positive about it you succeed from the guest of honor, this is an initiative worth embracing. So the government must have a program, Yaban and Kim. I think we have to thank God that young people on your own, without government even funding you, you have started this thing. So one of the things I'm going to, to influence government through Nkagobi is to set up a package that can be easily accessed by people like you. Of course, are you microfinance, but can we have a special package? And I, I want to promise you, Kora be wizere kampara. It was a Kora MOU. Nacheleva, we did integrity, we did honesty, we did value system. You kunda Kora, mutakariye mbivo. Don't eat your seeds. You will succeed. And may God bless you. Uh, our chief guest is going to sign on the banner. We want to be sure that that remains around, uh, and um, it will capture the date, but also his signature, and it summarizes what the fund is actually about whenever we want to go astray at least we always have to refer back to this With this, the final courtesy call can lead you and me to join the Ajit Startups Financing Initiative, save, buy shares, acquire loans, and grow our businesses. Mm -hmm.